Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 12 of my Airfix 172nd scale Shackleton EW2 build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Yep, you guessed it, even more Deckling. Don't worry, you lot are not doing it, it's me. I think there's about six hours of Deckling to finish this, which I promise we will finish in this episode. So, we're going to start on the fuselage. So, let's crank up the speedy up thing and crack on! There we have that bit. Decals. We can pop that to one side and let those decals dry. Whilst they're drying, let's crack on with cleaning up the canopy. I wasn't happy with how it looked when I took the masking off, so decided to try and clean it up with a cocktail stick. Oh, buggery bollocks! There goes the canopy. What is it with me and canopies? Well, I don't know. Yes, I cracked it. Now, I had to organise another one from Airfix, along with two of the biggest decals on the sheet that I've lost. The ones that go down the side and say, Royal Air Force. How do you lose those? Anywho, while I wait for those, let's crack on by doing the tyre creep decals on the wheels. Here we go with them. Here we have the tyre creep decals done. Main wheel, rear wheel, tail wheel, that's a tinker. And yep, you guessed it, we'll leave those to dry over there. Next up, we have the decals for the props. There are 48 of these to do, so let's get those sorted, shall we? we have those done and it only took about 25 minutes not too shabby I'm getting good at this Declan now for the cockades on the wings so let's get those sorted shall we what do you mean you've never heard of cockade 
Oh, yeah. It's a roundel. The proper name is a cockade. So, let's get them sorted. There we go, that's the wings done. We can pop those over there to dry. Now to carry on with the decals on the fuselage. So let's crack on with that lot, shall we? This is the point I realised I'd lost my two Royal Air Force decals for the side of the fuselage. Oh well, that's done. Let's see what we can do while we wait for the new set to come, along with a new canopy. Tell you what, I'm really repeating myself here with decals on, leave to dry, pop over there, do this. Anyway, it's a necessary evil in model making. How do you lot feel about deckling? Do you like it? Do you loathe it? Let me know in the comments below. Now for the cockades on the underside of the wings. So let's get them sorted. aircraft code letters. And for the tail. What they've done here is they've put the last two digits of the aircraft code on the tail. So let's do those. There we have the tail done with the code letters and the insignia and yep, we'll pop those to one side because they need to dry. So, I finally got my new canopy and decals from Airfix. Cost me 15 quid including PMP. So, let's get this canopy masked up, shall we? Here we go.
And there we have the canopy masked up. I used a fresh blade to do the cutting of the masking tape, then masked the inside and gave it support with blue tack to hopefully stop idiot chops here from cracking the canopy again. Now that I have my fresh new decals as well, we can get the rest of the decals on this side of the fuselage sorted. So let's get those done. As I popped the aircraft over, I could see that this decal here, marked, had come away. So it's out with the microset and get it back in place. And that, hopefully, is the last decals for the fuselage. All we have left is the insignia for the tail. So, let's get those cracked, shall we? There we have the decals done, hopefully. Three episodes of bloody deckling. That equates to about nine hours. Now you know why I like early aircraft. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 12. If you want to see what happens in episode 13, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe. Keep on modelling.